Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Hoff Bergman Explained video. Today we're going to talk about the different ways you can make silage here at the main farm. But before that, this video is brought to you by Alfredo Farms. Thank you for being a farm baron. So we are up here right past the cow pen, the dairy operation here at the main farm, just outside the gate. And there is a silage bunker out here, if you did not already know that. Now, this particular silage bunker is set up to accept maize chaff or silphile chopped. Those are the only two fill types that you can add to this bunker. You see, we've got ourselves 153,000 liters of chaff in here at this point. Now, this is technically silphile chopped that I have placed in here, but it and chaff on this particular map are basically the same thing. It should be noted that on this particular bunker, there is a light switch that you can turn on and off to activate some lights that are on the sides of the bunkers. And then, of course, just like normal, you would come up here and you would blanket the bunker. Now, this particular map has nice red or nice green tarps to cover the silage and of course as with many other maps now time needs to pass and then we will have ourselves silage now there are two other silage bunkers on this particular farm they are down the hill a little bit and they are actually a little bit different than this bunker up here on the hill so let's go take a look at those You can see I have a trailer load of maize chaff. So here we have the two silage bunkers that I was referring to. The bunker here on the left will take maize chaff. The bunker here on the right is actually configured to take grass. Okay, so if we try to dump maize chaff into this bunker or silphile chopped into this bunker, it's not going to work. If we try to put grass into this bunker or the one up on the hill that we just left, it's not going to work. Let's just demonstrate that. So here we have a load of chaff. And we're going to do a force unload like we typically need to do. The action cannot be performed here. And that is because we need to fill this up with grass. And now we can dump this into the bunker. And as you see from the F1 menu, of course, just like any other silage bunker, you're going to have to compact this to 100% and then basically cover it up with a blanket. So if we come over here, and once again, put this with grass. You're going to find that we will not be able to put grass into this bunker. The action cannot be performed here. But if we put chaff in here, we can indeed put chaff in this bunker. So if you are having difficulty basically making silage, you're getting the message, the action cannot be performed here. 
Well, quite frankly, you're probably trying to put the wrong material in the wrong bunker. There are two bunkers for chaff and maize production, or chaff and sophile chopped silage production. And then there is this bunker here for grass silage production. But that is not the only way that we can make grass silage. We have the ferment, the fix firm. This is a fermenting silo. And this guy, well, he's going to take grass, clover, hay, and convert it to grass silage. Silo has a capacity of 250,000 liters. So the way this is going to operate is pretty darn simple. Let's go ahead and put some grass in our trailer. We're going to back up to the dump station directly here on the side. And we're going to overload into the silo. And then what we need to do is we need to turn on the fix fermenter. And now that we've turned it on, it is going to basically produce silage. Now this says you can put hay and chaff in here as well so let's just go ahead and just try that just for funsies so there we have a load of hay and let's go ahead and put some clover in here So we can mow our clover and put it in the silo. We can mow grass and put it in here. We can take some excess hay and put it in here. And now it's literally just a matter of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and for fun's sake, I'm going to compact our grass. I'm gonna compact our chaff over here and then I'll be right back with you so we can see how long it takes to get our fix fermenter to uh, convert our grass and clover into silage. So you can see we have our maize silphile fermenting. We have our grass now fermenting. And let's go ahead and fast forward time and watch our fix fermenter do its job. So it is 9.40 in the morning. We've already got 20,000 liters of silage. It's 6 in the afternoon. See where our 53%, 53%, and this one should also be at 53%, 73%. So this one's cooking a little bit quicker. Interesting. So let's go ahead and skip to morning and see where we are. 
So it has been roughly 12 hours since we started this entire process. And you can see that our fixed firm is about halfway done its conversion into silage. So we've got 117,000, not halfway done, it's halfway full, sorry. So we have 117,500 liters of silage. We've got just 35,000 liters left to process. And our grass bunker is ready to go. Our mace bunker down here is ready to go. And no doubt our bunker up here by the cow area is also going to be ready to go. Because for whatever reason, it seemed to be ahead of the others. So there you go. So the fixed firm mentor is rather convenient in the fact that you can deposit product into it and just turn it on and it will just make silage, right? It's going to take a little bit longer to make that silage as opposed to how long it takes to ferment the maize and sulfide silage or the grass silage. But you got to figure that there is time involved in filling this bunker. There was time involved in compacting the bunker. And then you have the fermenting process. If all was equal, the bunker here would be faster because it ferments the product faster. And basically, you can fill this with a whole lot more product than the fixed fermenter. The fixed fermenter, on the other hand, has the advantage in time. You just mow, you dump, and basically you turn it on and let it run. At that point, you can wait a few hours and pull some product out of it. Or, I'll shut this thing off for now. Or you can uh, just turn it on and uh, you know, go about your day and come back in a day, day and a half. And you're, you're basically going to have a silo full of silage. And then as the pipe would probably indicate, this is where you're going to pull that silage out of. You'll see we have silage grass, okay? So silage grass is different than silage maize. Silage grass, you'll see, we can sell at the livestock dealer. And if we roll over here to silage maize, we can also sell at the livestock dealer, but it is a different price, 333 versus 340 currently. And of course, with the economy on Farm Simulator, this price is gonna fluctuate up and down, but you can see that they are completely different prices. And if we go over here to the biogas plant, which you may have noticed isn't listed in the prices screen, well, that is because this really is set up as something completely different than a traditional biogas plant. We've already done a video on the biogas plant. So if you haven't seen that, I encourage you to go ahead and check it out. Now the biogas plant will also take silage maize sulfile and silage grass. So you could also bring your excess silage up here. Now, I don't think you're gonna be able to dump the silage. You're gonna to have to put it into the bunker. Let's just check. Yeah, I do not see a dump trigger down here. You're gonna to have to put it into the actual biomat digester in order to process this. So let's come back here to the farm. And let's take our load of silage down to the animal dealer. As we come into the animal dealer, we need to come over here to the left. And this is where we are going to be able to sell our 
bulk silage. See, our money is going up. There you go, quick $17,000. Not too terrible bad. Now, you maybe, maybe you are interested in silage bales. You're not so much interested in loose silage. Maybe you're interested in silage bales. So if you do silage bales, you're gonna see that we pretty much can sell silage bales also down here at the dealership. Right here, we have a bale sell point. So you can also bring your silage bales down here as well as your hay straw grass to the livestock dealer. And then if you wish to store your bales, we do have a grass bale storage right down there at the farm beside the fixed fermenter. But you could also buy another stack, holds 54 bales. Or if you want to make maize silphile silage into bales. Honestly, I'm not really sure how you do that. But at any rate, if you make maize silphile round bale silage, then you can also put those bales down as well. So guys, I hope this somewhat answered some questions you might have related to making silage with either the fixed fermenter or if you're having difficulty with the silage bunkers at the main farm, accepting product, maybe now you realize that, uh, well, not all silage bunkers are made equal. And we have two bunkers that will accept maize and silphile chopped, and then one bunker that will accept grass for silage production. And until next time, happy farming.